Hi everyone, Martins here and welcome in another video tutorial today, Lightroom tutorial as some of you maybe noticed. There was an update of Lightroom. So now Lightroom CC available if you don't have, if you didn't update your Lightroom, do this right now. Some of the new features in Lightroom CC, I'm not going to talk about these new features because from my own experience I know after every update there's a lot of information about new features so you can find this. Uh, so there's no uh, need to double them but I think that's really great occasion to show you some of the fantastic things you can do with Lightroom with your own uh, photography uh, so today episode is about black and white photography in Lightroom in the past I did one tutorial with um, black and white colors in Lightroom that was a bit different that was actually landscape and I think this one is really great for landscapes as well but I'm showing few more things that actually make your image a bit more precise the black and white color has really nice contrast over here so I highly recommend you to watch this and stay with me till the end of this tutorial as you can see it works really great with models you can use this for any kind of photography so here is my final result and as you can notice this is really good black and white color and in this video I'm going to show you how I get this really nice color from actually a quite average looking let me show you how it looked before actually it's not the uh, previous result because the previous was a bit um, different I think I lost this but let me reset all of everything and the first thing i'm going to do to show you how it looks i'm going to convert this image into black and white and as you can see for me and probably for most of you this image is totally too bright i cannot stand this this black and white doesn't look so well as we can stand the color of this image it's really nice and powerful when we turn this into black and white it loses all the dynamic so how to make this image how to bring up dynamic once again to this image and the first thing i'm doing of course let me clear everything the first thing to do in lightroom of course when you open your colorful photography just turn this into black and white I don't want to retouch anything without black and white color. Why? Because I want to see everything, how it looks, how their progress looks like. So all the work I'm going to do, I'm going to work with a black and white image. And I'm going to start actually from these two uh, sliders. And always what I'm doing, I'm always checking how this image looks the best. I'm just dragging from one side to another to see uh, how it looks the best as you can see when we change the temperature it doesn't really have good influence for our picture however when i bring up some green color my image might actually get some of the nice contrast so i'm adding some of the uh, tint over here i'm working with tint into the green color and then it's pretty much basic things um, I'm going to work a little bit with exposure I'm going to take down some exposure because this image was too bright for me I'm going to bring up some contrast not too much I think 20 few will be enough when we add too much contrast this image won't look natural it will be too gritty I would say I'm going to take down just a bit of highlights as well so all I do I just take the lights right now because this image was totally too bright you don't have to work with highlights actually too much and sometimes you can bring them up just a little bit it doesn't have big influence so you can brighten this image if it's too dark and you can take down some highlights if it's too bright course I'm going to take down some shadows bring up some whites to add some more contrast and 
I'm not going to make this image darker anymore. I think it's totally enough. About clarity, I usually add not that much as I add with color photography because it will look, as I said before, too gritty for me. Okay, that's then our basic. And just take a look for our history, how it looks. As you can see, this image after uh, transformation into black and white was too bright. So now we add some serious, nice looking color. And now I'm going to move into black and white uh, panel over here. And that's the main part of our work, actually. Um, we have to be really careful because when we want to do this correction nice, um, our whole work might be a bit destroyed, so I recommend you to be careful and to see how the sliders works for your picture. Of course, I'm going to start from red color. It's quite much the red color on the picture. And of course, I'm not going to bring this up because uh, it won't look natural. We have to see how it looks. So I'm going to take down a little bit of the red color to make this um, board a bit brighten and about orange colors it's actually up to you you want to have a bit darker uh, wall in my case it's wall or a bit brighter uh, as i'm turning this up i'm getting more dynamic things when i'm getting this down as you can see and this image getting more depressive I'm, I'm, i prefer to find something universal over here so i took it down a little bit and I'm going to bring up some contrast using yellow, as you can see. So that was a really good decision. I'm going to bring this up. Always take a look on the legs, because actually we can destroy this a little bit. The same, I'm going to bring up some uh, green color for contrast. I don't want to make some parts too dark really. So just staying carefully over here. Actually, this board should be a bit brighter, I think. Okay, so we're nearly done with this. Okay, so I won't do anything more over here. It's um, it's enough for me. Take a look how it looks uh, before uh, before this. I think it was. Um, somewhere here so as you can see right now we take care about some contrast and about some dynamic split tuning usually it's skipped in regular black and white photography but i'm going to show you something that actually works really great i'm not doing usual things but when we add just just a bit this cold color for highlights as you can see this image getting more character and getting a bit more dramatic for ha um, for uh, however for um, shadows I'm going to add some of the warm color but as you can see it's very both of this is very soft when we add two strong colors it won't be black and white anymore um, so I recommend you to be careful and saturation as you can notice it's very very soft so it doesn't have such a huge influence for our picture and details with details we always supposed to be really careful because we don't want to destroy the face i'm not going to add too much sharpening just a little bit and in this case it's not actually necessary and of course noise reduction i'm always using noise reduction over here because as i add some sharpening it destroy uh, some high contrast areas on the image and at the end the same thing what I'm doing in color photography I'm going to add some uh, vignette quite strong vignette with very very small midpoint however with the feather will be very very soft Take a look. 
okay it works really really nice maybe too strong feather and a bit soft vignette i don't want to make this image too dark as well okay i think it will be it will be enough like this so we finished with um standard color collection here um however our job it's not done yet i'm going to choose brush and the things i'm going to do it's similar as untouch and burn um, i'm going to paint um, with dark colors and i'm going to paint with some shadows uh, around the picture to add some contrast at first so take down exposure and take down some highlights I have some shadows not too much it will be very soft i'm going to paint around the around the corners actually so just few areas over here It's not that strong as you can see it's very soft after this let's bring it up and at the moment if it's too strong or something you can always change your uh, settings here because now we're going to work with face a little bit and add some contrast on the hair I'm trying to do this really fast so I'm sorry if I miss some point but I'm always trying to do my tutorials fast I didn't add enough contrast on the shorts before. I really want them a bit darker. Okay, and let's take <coughs> care about legs um, just a bit. As you can see, it's not really destructive, it's very soft. Um, solve the burning over here going to add much more contrast and much more it makes our image much more dynamic let's add a little bit over here for the board and after this after burning this image choose new brush Change your setting uh, for brighten. So now we're going to paint with light, paint with lights. And the things I really want to take care of is here around the face to brighten up some of the hair. As you can see, it's very soft. We cannot see much difference. Maybe I take down the shadows. Okay. Let's brighten up some part of the face. Okay. I was just looking. I didn't do anything wrong. Let's go down a bit. And here we are, just the end. Brighten up the legs, as you can see. They don't have this nice, nice um, new colors. So it would be really great to do some uh, work in Photoshop as well. But um, still, it looks, it looks really fine. 
all right so that's pretty much our final result i think i got something similar to my uh, previous result and right now i'm going to show you just difference what we've got since the beginning because as the process is going on we actually sometimes we think there is not such a huge difference and that was the black and white we started with and after all this editing about after all this process we got something like this uh, i hope you can agree with me that um, this black and white at the end is much better um, that was just a quick tutorial to show you how i usually edit black and white uh, pictures with people like portrait pictures um, sport uh, pictures to add some drama into them and to push some life into the pictures so thank you for watching i hope you like this tutorial leave some comment to uh, give me some feedback and see you soon in another tutorial thank you